Welcome back. This is Cereal Snacks. I'm here with Almond Flour. Hello. And we are playing Guild Wars 2, the open beta. This is the second open beta, and we just wanted to quickly show off the kind of starting area of the uh, uh, Silvari race. So both of us have made our crazy Silvari characters, and they're probably the most highly customizable characters I think I've ever seen in a game. <laughs> so, and apparently I look like a kitty cat Darth Maul, is what Almond Flower thinks. Yeah, you kind of have a Darth Maul something going on there with the coloring and the spiky head, and then your face kind of looks like a cat. Interesting. Yeah. It is kind of neat. And I kind of have like, uh, maybe I stole Robin Hood's outfit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. So you're so you're playing a ranger, right? <laughs> yes. And, and this is my dog, or whatever they call them. What's his name? I don't know. Can I give him a name? No, I don't. I don't. I don't know. His his name is Juvenile Fernhound, apparently. Oh, he does kind of look plantish. Qualities, doesn't he? What's this? It looks like a. It's a ghost dog. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like a shadow dog. How weird. So I'm uh, playing a Mesmer, which is a magic using class that, that deals with illusions. And so Almond Flower is playing her ranger class, which is kind of rangery. So <laughs> That says it all. Yeah, I guess if you're familiar with old MMOs, then you probably know what a ranger is. So let's just run along here. A lot of things kind of pop up at you in this game. Now you can see the green. See the green. Almond Flower hasn't really played this game yet, right? So. <laughs> Never before. It's pretty beautiful though, isn't it? It's pretty nice. It is. Very glowy. It's very like misty and I don't know. It's pretty artistic, but it kind of reminds me of like anime. Yeah, and it looks like your graphic settings, I can see your computer from here, are kind of bright or something. Yeah, I agree. It's glowy. It's like a little glowy. bit too glowy maybe. So we, we can fix that later. But in the regardless, this is what they call the dream. And okay. the dream is this area... You know, I kind of liken it to... Well, here's a quest giver over here. I kind of liken it to... I'm not going to watch the cinematics on these. Uh, but I liken it to the, the... The Emerald Dream in World of Warcraft. That's what it automatically reminded me of, where the night elves go to sleep. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. They, apparently the dream world is poisoned, and our job is to stop the poison. Where are you? I'm right in front of you over here. Oh, I can't even tell which one's you. <laughs> there's so many people standing around. Well, there's a lot of people because it's the last beta weekend event before this game comes out so did you talk to this quest giver over here no okay so there's little quest givers that have little green things you can, yeah here you this go this guy yep or girl <laughs> yeah and you're in a little cinematic i skipped through the cinematic just because i just wanted to kind of show off the gameplay but you can do whatever you want okay you want to watch it you can no, i'm good okay and then we just go to the next green icon here which and you can see on your quests up at the top right you should have mm -hmm. a little quest thing kind of like world of warcraft where it says push past the nightmare oh, hound well there's a thing attacking, attacking my you. yeah so uh just target it and just use your one key which is your auto attack there's you can see at the bottom you've got like one attack starting out yeah i see it. it ricochet yeah so here's another one now another thing that you'll see too is you'll start to build up your second one and i've highlighted here with my mouse but um i'm like if you highlight it It'll say, like, for example, I have a secondary skill on my two key, which is called Illusionary oh. Counter. Yeah, mine's like Split Blade or Spit Blade. Yeah, and it looks like you actually trained it already. So, well, I don't know. I just the tried. The more you to use, use your attacks, the more you get your next skill. So I just got my second skill. Uh, and when you press F when you're around these creatures to loot them when they're glowing. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's kind of just little things about this game. I really like the Silvari starting area. It's very nice. Of course, we're kind of not in the starting area yet. This is just the dream. So we'll just work our way through here. So let's just keep going. Uh, do you see me? I wish we had like a way to put like an icon above my head since there's so many people. <laughs> I think there no, might. No, I'm good. I see you. I I'm following. I'm just looking around because this is all new to me. So I think there might actually be a way to do it, although I'm not sure offhand how to do it. But no, it's it's cool. We can keep going. Um. Let's invite to party. There we go. Oh, I got you in my party. Now, one thing about this game is you don't need to be in a party to do to do quests like this. So there's like a, a quest here. You see that orange quest that popped on your quest tab on the yes, right? Yes, I do. That is an area quest, and everybody who's in the area gets credit for that quest if they contribute. Oh, okay. So we just attack any hound. So it's almost like you're, everybody's in a group. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of cool. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about people like kill stealing you and all that stuff because you're basically all just contributing. Can we talk about the skills again? So I don't have to go to like a trainer. 
Uh, or do I have to later? No, on? you don't. Uh, they train themselves. So you'll see at the bottom, you probably have a third skill by now. I only have two, but. I have three. Yeah, uh, so, and if you hover over them, it'll tell you what they do. And one thing about them, too, is that. So, I, so did you get that little medal for the event being succeeded? I'm not sure. Is this my dog? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's your I guess it's he your was first injured time. and somebody healed him for me. It's it's your first time. Uh, I, I'm like, <laughs> oh, a bridge is, a bridge somebody else was like tending to my dog. I'm like, I don't understand what's a, happening. A bridge is be formed, so let's move on here. But uh, if you look at your top right, there should be a little medal that you got. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's for completing that event that we just did. I didn't do anything, though. <laughs> well, you were in the area when it completed, so you probably got a little bit of experience for that. Mm hmm. But yeah, your skills are on the bottom there, and, and we can talk about those in a minute. They, it also depends on what weapons you have equipped. And I believe the ranger starts out with axes, ranged axes. Mm -hmm. So you're probably just leveling up your axe skill right now. But you can dual wield axes. You can also uh, wield like swords and that sort of thing. And you actually get different attacks based on that weapon type that you have in your hand. So it's kind of an ingenious little system that I've not seen before in games. Uh, I'm sure Guild Wars 1 probably did it. And this is sort of chaotic, this part. You can see we're kind of just running around killing stuff, so. Oh, my dog's all injured. But you can click on him. Oh, I'm a, healing him. Yeah, well, can, I mean, I'm trying well, to. If you click on him and press F, you can revive him. Oh, he's a, that other person already did it for you. F revives other players. So everybody can resurrect, essentially. I thought F is for looting. It's not really resurrecting, but. Yeah, it also, it's kind of like the action key, I guess, for the game. F is for looting F and for everything for healing. Yeah, but can I can heal him too with my healing spell or no? Um, I think you can, but I don't think it's like really too critical that you do that in this game. It's such a fast-moving game. Now, one thing you too, if you double tap any direction, you will actually do a action type dodge. Oh, okay. So this is typical of the tutorial areas for every race there's a boss creature that you have to fight and it's usually something crazily epic this one's like a tree dragon or something yeah he's like a komodo dragon with branches yeah. and or wings or something and that's another thing i really like about guild wars is they don't just like start you out fighting like basic random stuff i guess they kind of do but but this is pretty pretty epic so um i always just push tab because that targets the nearest thing and then just go for it you got to be careful. They can if you die. Well, if you die, you, this game gives you the opportunity to have a second chance. Um, so you actually get a whole other row of hotkeys that you can push that will help you regain life, essentially. Really? Yeah. So keep an eye out for that. I really I, all you do in this is just beat on this guy. I don't really see where where my dog is. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't worry about the dog. No, I wouldn't. I think he's gonna auto attack. He may be up in there already. I see you over here. Yeah, you're just throwing your axes there. That's good. So, oh yeah, he's beating on me. So you can see, I can. S oh, there's my. <laughs> that's funny. In the distance, you can see I made my character's name is Cereal Snacky Cakes. Mm -hmm. And since I'm a mesmer, little clones get created of my character, and they all run around. And there's like so there's a bunch of cereal snacky cakes running all over the screen. That's cool. Yeah. That's weird, but that's cool. Yeah, oh. so that's what the mesmers do. So, so we it. killed him. Yeah, now at the end of these quests, I'll show you here in a minute, we're going to, we're basically done with the dream mode, and we're going to load into Caledon Forest, which is the starting zone for the Silvari class. And maybe it's a little less chaotic. <laughs> mm, possibly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so what happens is you come out of the dream without any equipment. I'm going to skip out of the cutscene here. And then uh on your screen, you should see... A reward will pop up, possibly. So for me, I've got a wooden focus and a pistol that I can choose from, plus I get a leather bag. I'm going to go for a pistol just to show off the ranged attack stuff here. And of course, this particular race starts out with no equipment. Basically, you have to go talk to the, the quest givers here. It looks like you're still spawning in. Huh? Oh, no, you're still you're here. I don't, I don't know why it says pending invitation for you, but... Oh, because you invited me? Maybe I didn't respond? Oh. How do I respond? I don't know, let, me see. let me cancel the invite and invite you again if I can find you. Where are you? I'm standing here naked. Like, it's... I, 
I, well, I think part of the problem is they they have these instances where you spawn in to do different instances. So let me. There's somebody here with a mushroom head. <laughs> let me invite you again. That is fascinating. the 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 uh, customization is crazy. This lady literally has a mushroom cap for a head. Yeah, I don't know where you are, but if you do your oh, do the little see the little green green check mark on your group invite tab. Uh, I click that. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I believe you're in the, you're in the overflow. Join it's in. Crazy that we're all running around naked. Unfortunately, because there's so many people playing, we're not in the same instance, which is kind of a bummer. Let's see if I can, uh, if I can join you there. Join in. Ah, here we go. Okay, I'll be there in just one second. Regardless, if I can get into the same... Okay, I'm in the same zone now as Almond Flower. Let's see if I can find her. There what she is, running to around. My dog. What's that? What happened to my dog? I don't know. Well, I think part of it's because of the dream. So let's go talk to this quest giver over here. I had a dream. I woke up. I'm naked and I have no dog. That's right. You lost your dog. Sounds like a country Kind of a rough song. start, you know? Mm -hmm. So talk to this... Green person. Green person. You should get your <laughs> equipment back. I don't know. I got my equipment back without talking to her. I think because I changed zones. So. Hey, oh yeah. Uh, okay. I'm not sure how you summon your dog. You may have a little dog summon skill. Like look above your hot bar. Is there anything? Ab what's that? I don't know. Oh, there he is. There you go. There he is. So, I didn't want to go too much further than this because I really just wanted to show the starting area. So you want to just run around real quick, and we'll just do a quick. Yeah, let's look. I don't know. It's pretty. I think it's pretty epic the way it looks. So uh, there's a quest giver here too. Let's just do this quest giver. It's cool. I like the giant tree over here. So this quest what? giver down here where I am mm -hmm. will actually give you a map and show you everything that's going on in the world, and she'll tell you where the renowned quests are. They're little hearts scattered throughout the map. Oh. And yeah. each one has like a goal that you have to fulfill. It's like doing quests in World of Warcraft, except they're almost like area quest so mm -hmm. that's kind of the story with this and so she's showing me all the hearts right now and then there's waypoints like little diamonds with a blue spot and you can actually teleport them to them quickly if you pay a, a few copper and mm -hmm. it actually they're pretty cheap as time goes on and there are also skill challenges which are these kind of like a chevron type looking icon on the map that you can do skill challenges and get more skill points for your for your character so so basically the idea is that we're going to do the quests marked by the hearts. Yeah, you basically wander around the zone, and the heart quests have like level ranges associated with them, so you can level up doing those heart quests. Mm -hmm. So the other thing you can do in this game, of course, is world versus world versus world. I have a video out on that as well. Uh, I'll probably have a link posted on this one, just to, if somebody's interested in that. And you're just attacking these dodo birds, huh? He's a moa. A moa. I just thought it was neat. So yeah, I like the loot. Ooh, I got a staff. So that's the other thing in your inventory. You can actually, if you look at your hero, you can actually equip stuff that's kind of cool. I think I get it. Oh, I can't do a pistol and a staff at the same time, unfortunately. How do you go to your inventory? On your top left, there'll be a, or you can press H. It'll open up your hero screen. H or H will open up your hero screen, and then I opens up your inventory. But what it'll show you is on the top, the top left of that screen, it'll show you what you've looted that you can equip. So you'll see that you may have gotten like a horn. If you look in your hero screen, mm -hmm. the top yeah. left, you can actually equip that in your offhand. So you can drag it down to your offhand, which is below your. There you go. And mm -hmm. now you're carrying a little horn that gives you extra stats. Mm. On mine, for example, I have. The ability to use swords, great swords, pistols, scepters, staves, a focus, a torch, spears, and two-handed trident. So there's all kinds. I mean, I kind of like the mesmer. Well, rangers can use a lot of weapons, too. Uh, they also can use swords and short bows and long bows and that sort of thing. So you want to just wander around here a little bit? Sure. Just take a quick look. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> you lost me again. Here we go. I'm right here. Oh, hi. Uh, I wonder if I can mark you. No, I guess not. Let's just wander around. I just want to show kind of the graphics. Like over here in the top, you can close that survey screen too by clicking cancel. Okay. 
And if you look at the top right up here, you can see this plant. There's like a plant with water pouring off of it on the top right. Up above you, yeah. It's kind of cool. Well, so it's the tiniest bit laggy for me. Yeah, yeah, we'll probably have to adjust your graphics setting. There's something going on with your gamma, your bloom. So we'll look at that. That's one thing. If you don't have a fairly nice computer, you're not going to get like a fairly recent new computer, I guess you could say. You're not going to get great frames per second in this game without seriously cranking down the settings. The um, flowers are cool. And I don't know if that's because it's beta or what, but... It's, it is really pretty to look at. It's just a little... It's like there's stuff everywhere. It's yeah. It's a lot to take in. It is. It's very epic in that sense. You can see in the distance, there's like huge trees way up above. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is basically probably where I wanted to stop this video because I just really wanted to show people how, what the Silvari is like, really. Um, I wonder if I can get up this mountain and we can show off some of the landscape. Mm, yeah. So yeah, pretty. it's very pretty. And the Silvari area is distinctly different from all the rest of the areas. And that's, I think that, that actually is really good for a game when you have very distinct environments. You know, people will talk about World of Warcraft and how, you know, they don't like it or whatever. But 10 million subscribers can't be wrong. And I think a lot of it had to do with the art direction of the game, in my opinion. So. Which was obviously a lot simpler than this. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is very complex and very epic. But I like, I like the art direction in it, so... Yes. So, well, I think that's it for this video showing off Silvari. You'll probably see other videos from us in the future. But uh, thanks for joining us, and thanks for being on Almond Flower. Anytime. And we will be back again soon.